What's up guys? Welcome back to Boost Brothers Garage. In this episode, we are gonna be upgrading this 996 twin turbo. Stay tuned. All right, so this car is a 2005 uh, Porsche 911 Turbo S. Uh, this is the 996 generation cars. The car right now is completely stock, so it was time to do some mild upgrades to start with. And we're actually gonna do this in a two-part series. In this first video, we're gonna show installing a new air filter uh, as well as a Cobb access port, and we're gonna do the stage one tune on that. The access port has data logging capabilities uh, as well as uh, performance measurements. So you can do zero to 60 times and quarter mile times. And the plan here is to go ahead and throw the tuner on before we do anything else, but keep the stock base map in it and go and see what we can do as far as a quarter mile time so that we have a baseline to figure out what all these mods are actually worth when it's said and done. We're gonna install this now. Installation of the Cobb access port is pretty easy. Uh, you have an OBD2 connector, which mounts under the dash. It powers this, you turn your key on, but you don't start the car, and then everything else is done within the menu on the access port. All right, so the first thing that pops up is instructions on just how to use the unit as far as what the buttons do. We'll go through that. We're gonna install the access port to the vehicle. And you've got your maps in here as far as what's included with the access port. So they've got stage one, 91 octane, stage one, 93 octane, stage two, et cetera, et cetera. What I'm gonna try to do first is run the base map so that we can test the car in its stock configuration. Okay, so this is stage zero, which would be our base map, and that's what we're gonna stick with. Sitting at 0% right now, we're gonna let this thing work. We'll be right back. All right guys, installation is successful. Let's take this thing for a short drive and figure out exactly what we're working with here. All right, it's time to take this thing for a drive. We've got the access port all plugged in. On here, you have gauges that you can run. You can do a single gauge with boost pressure. You can really look at anything that the factory ECU can monitor. Uh, you can also go back and do the performance logging that we were talking about. And uh, that's what we're gonna do now is try to find an open enough road that uh, is safe to do a quarter mile run. If not, we'll at least do a zero to 60 pull. We're gonna monitor our boost pressure here, see what we're, uh, see what boost we're making on the stock tune. And then when we do the stage one and stage two, we'll be able to see how much of a gain just in boost pressure controlled to just a hair under 11 it was mid tens uh, and then we saw 11 a couple times so I'm guessing 11 is where the factory has it all right guys we got the factory air box off I used a guide from Pelican parts and I'll throw the link below in case you need help figuring out how to get the air box off once it is off you go through and take all these Phillips screws off to separate the box itself, and then we can replace the filter. Oh, those are Phillips? Mm -hmm. We pulled the old filter out, and surprisingly, this car already had a BMC filter in it, 
We're still gonna go ahead and replace it. We are replacing this with a dry filter from AFE. Uh, all the products that we got for this video, the tuner and the filter, all came from Flat 6 Motorsports. The guys at Flat 6 are awesome to deal with. They always help us out with the late model Porsche stuff. So if you have a Cayenne, a Cayman, a Macan, a Panamera, uh, or a 911, make sure you go check out their website. Any performance parts you need, they've got and tell John that we sent you and John will take care of you. He's a really good guy. So, flat six, thanks a bunch. Installed, easy enough. Let's get it put back in the car. Installation is the reverse of removal and again, that Pelican Parts article explains all this stuff, so link below. My brother and I do it together. With that done, we're gonna put the stage one map in and we're gonna go back and test this thing and see if there's any real gains. Zero to 60 run, go. That's all wrapped up. Stage one upgrades are complete. It's a little tough on public roads to go and get 100% uh, accurate performance data. There was differences between foot braking and not foot braking and trying to find an open road to do it safely was tough. But what I do 100% know is that we saw an additional four pounds of boost uh, and the boost was coming on a lot earlier in the rev range there was a, a huge pickup in uh, mid range and probably peak torque i would guess uh, as far as the top end is concerned there was definitely a, a difference but it wasn't as noticeable as the mid range so um, we were able to gain just over a mile and a half almost two miles an hour on our eighth mile trap speed so it's definitely making more power that's for sure. And it's a lot more fun to drive. So on the next video, we're gonna go through and we're gonna do the sole performance uh, turbo back exhaust, and we're gonna upgrade that tune to stage two. And with those mods, we should, be, we should see a pretty similar difference to what we did here. So check that out. Thanks for watching, guys.